Hey, I'm Danielle, and this is my husband, Trevor. If you've been watching our previous vlogs, you'll know that we're currently in Orlando, Florida for Playlist Live. This is day two. We didn't film much at the convention. I got a Playlist t-shirt though. We tried a new restaurant called Hot Pot and totally screwed it up and ended the night early in our condo all alone. caramel latte hot and then uh, Danny with a Y and then um, can I have a venti hot skinny vanilla latte who all of the time <laughs> I'm confusing you yes I'm sorry you say just, I do one thing and you say no do this and then I do it and you're like well if it was easier do it the other way do it the other way well women are confusing <laughs> So we just got back for day two of Playlist Live. We got our coffees. And um, we have to wait another seven minutes before they'll let us in. Yeah, this is what you get for showing up early. Use it as show up late. Yeah. It's the way to go. I made sure that he shows up early with me to play this live. Yeah, so now we're just sitting here waiting. Yeah. Whereas, you know. Normally we'd be rushing around late. Yeah. Yeah. It's better to show up late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us holding hands and being cute. Look at us. We're cute. So we've been at Playlist like all day, but we haven't really filmed anything. Yeah, not really. Because there's just like music going on and it's quite loud with lots of people and stuff. So it's, it's a lot different today because all the fans are here. So, yeah. so it's like a lot of like. A girls just a lot of young girls. And, yeah. And it's yeah. kind of like, okay, it's no longer like. Just like creators hanging out. Right. Yeah, so we haven't really picked up the vlog camera very much, but we're done for the day. Um, we're heading out. We're going to go eat at a place called oh. Hot, Pot. Hot, Pot. Hot Pot. Hot Pot in Orlando. So we're going to go there um, and we'll take you guys along. Sure you want out? Shirt? Yeah. Yes, let's see the shirt. Yes, we bought a shirt today. I bought a shirt because I wanted some sort of merch. What? <laughs> Dang. Yeah, it was like probably one of the last ones because they didn't have it on display anymore. Like they had it on display when we got in line and by the time we got out there, they had taken it down off the wall. And I was like, well, I'll just ask anyways and like see if they had it. And they did, they went back and found me one, so. <laughs> God, she's cute. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to Next place. Hot Pot, which I think is a chain, but it's something I'm, I'd never heard of. So it's like a kind of just like a new experience. It's not like I said going to Olive Garden or someplace we've been before. So we're gonna go to Hot Pot. And hopefully the pot is hot. <laughs> we stuck in traffic, yo. These people literally have coats on. Yeah, it's we 66. Just, we just saw one lady like walking around and she had like a coat on and Uggs and I was like, what are you doing? But she thinks it's cold. She's probably from Florida. So this is like freezing. Yeah, I think we got in, what was it yesterday? And people were talking about, oh, it's so cold. Like you'll need a coat. It's like 60. Like that's not cold, yo. But anyways, you guys are gonna... Helicopter. Where? Right there. Oh, hello, Mr. Heli. Hopefully he's gonna bring me some cargo. Mr. Helly, drop it. Drop it, Mr. Helly. Okay, well, Helly didn't drop me any cargo, so. eating it was all right it was definitely like a fun experience but i wouldn't say like the food was like 
good. Great. Yeah. Yeah. And that could very well just be because we're making our own food, you know? So and we're just really bad at cooking. We're, we're bad at making it. But it was a little overwhelming. Like, we didn't know what to do. So, it's Chinese fondue. Yeah. So, basically, you go in and you put... There's food that comes around on a conveyor belt. I don't know if you showed him that. Yeah. The food comes around on a conveyor belt and you decide, Hey, I want that food. So, you pick it up off the conveyor belt. And then you put it in a... Boiling broth. A boiling broth that's set right in front of you. And then you cook it in there. And then you eat it. Mm -hmm. Well... We went in there and the guy asked us like if we ever been here before and we said no. He gave us all our stuff and he said, you know, you take it off the conveyor belt, you put it in the soup and then you eat it. And then he said like there's like a whole thing, a whole menu of what is on the trays, like what comes over on the conveyor, on the belt. conveyor belt. And so you kind of look at the picture, you look at the conveyor belt and you're like, yeah, that looks close. And you grab it. Because it's not like exact pictures. Yeah. And and then you cook it for as long as the pic like the pictures say like the cook times on it. So if you right. got like some chicken, you need to cook it in your boiling water for like so long. Right. And and it was like it made sense and everything. And then he kind of just like left it at that. And like we didn't, we never done it. So we thought, okay. you know, you're supposed to grab it. And then you put it in your thing and you boil it for like say... You know, because like, it was like steak and it was like three minutes. So I boiled the steak for three minutes and then, you know, I dipped enough out, put it in my like little bowl because you get a little bowl and then, you know, ate it out of there. And then there's a, there was a TV behind me. I never saw it, but I, I was looking at it, but apparently there's a TV in there that's showing you how to like do it. Yeah. Cause there's, so there was like a TV behind Trevor that was like said no connection like lost connection so uh there was a tv to our right that was playing the news so i just like was like whatever well then i after we're done eating basically i look over and i see there's another tv on the other side of the thing and it's playing like step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this food and we had kind of i mean not really done it all wrong but like you're supposed to take this sauce and you cook your food you put it on your plate you dip it in the sauce and then you eat it and they told us about the sauce but we thought because it was like a soup broth we just thought it was like all mixed together like soup so we were taking the sauce and putting it in our broth and apparently that's all wrong so it kind of made it like like at the end i was like oh well we just did this whole thing wrong and then we thought oh you know you're supposed to have noodles but apparently like, well, like the noodles aren't the big part of yeah it. we were making like a soup because it's a soup broth that they bring you but you don't necessarily like make a soup you just like cook your food in water it's not necessarily like you could cook your your steak in water and then you take your steak out and you eat the steak but it's not like you eat it like a soup right so, so it, i mean it was an okay like it was fun and it was okay yeah. but i just feel like we kind of screwed it up in a way right and like and i don't know i mean it's uh, i just feel like if it's the first time be like hey if you're like Especially since they have a tutorial on how to do it on a TV. Yeah. Why didn't you tell like, us, like, well, since your first time, like, if you have any questions, feel free to watch TV. It tells yeah. you step-by-step -step instructions. Like, yeah. how hard is that to do? Yeah. But, like, he never mentioned it, and then it was, and like, then at he the was, end. Well, and he was also hard to understand, so it was, like, an awkward barrier there, and, like... Yeah. But, it honestly, I'm honestly, <laughs> it, it was a fun experience. Yeah, and I ate a lot of food, and I'm, I'm good. I just feel like we didn't do it right. Right. And, I, yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we didn't do it right, so we didn't get the full experience and the full, like, greatness of the food. Because, like, it kind of was a little bit bland. Like, it yeah. wasn't this, like, great exotic food. Yeah, because we put the sauce because, in the water. Yeah, rather than... that you're supposed to dip it in. Uh -huh. So it would have been more strong and, like, flavorful. But, yeah, I mean, you know, you live and you learn, right? Yep. So yep. maybe maybe next time we come to something like this, we'll know what to do. Yeah. Or at least watch the TV instructions before <laughs> trying to do it. So. Yeah. And we're going to head home now. We've just been sitting in the car at, in the parking lot of Hot Pot. And so um, we'll catch you guys when we get home. Hello there. We just got to um, my great aunt's house. Well, that's who I was supposed to stay with, but I'm staying with another relative of theirs. This is our first night here all by ourselves. My aunt was here previously. There's two bedrooms, so um, we're just kind of sharing the condo as people come and go. And so this is our first night by ourselves until the owner of the condo, I think it's my dad's cousin. So what would that be to me? Like my second cousin? Yes. They're gonna be here. And I think they're my dad's cousin, I don't know. If I have family watching this, they might be laughing. 
but her name is Tina <laughs> and her husband and they're gonna come here. Um, this is their condo, but for now, tonight, we have the whole thing to ourselves. You know what that means. No, what? It means we can go to sleep at a normal time. <laughs> you know what, the last couple days have just, it's one of those things like I stay up really really late like till like 2 a.m 4 a.m playing video games uh -huh. and i'll wake up the next day and be fine but like when you're traveling it's a different level yes. of exhaustion i yeah. am so tired and i'm usually not like what time is it right now like eight nine yeah i don't know where any working well it's like eight o'clock yeah and i'm like so tired yeah it's like we're traveling and then like we have the flight and like i don't know if yeah, you can't tell I'm, just, I'm stressed <laughs> I'm just like a new level of exhausted. So yeah. like, yeah, yeah it's like it's, eight o'clock and we're gonna go. To but the reason I said that is like, there's nobody here, so we can fall asleep whenever we want yeah. and not we feel like have we to, have to socialize. Right, socialize and talk <laughs> to people and yeah. Unless so. my grandma finds out, she's like a couple condos away, and so <laughs> she well, finds out. We, we just won't tell her. We won't tell her we're home and like we need to go to bed. <laughs> I've been feeling really sad and it's really hard to explain because like, oh, it's not as echoey out here. <laughs> it's really hard to explain because I feel bad saying that I'm sad because I made the decision to move. I want to move and I do. But as I'm here, it's just sad because I like this house. And if it was in Indiana with my family, then I would still be in this house, but it's not. It's here in Kansas City, and it's near neither of our families. It's three hours from Trevor's family, eight hours from my family. Literally nobody is here. And so we made the decision to move, but it's just, it's still sad. And I have been feeling down like all day. I'm trying not to cry on camera because it's stupid. Oh, I thought I was over crying.